let's share this one. So, guys, I'm going to play a TikTok for you guys about iOS. Well, it really is like what people who aren't technical think about Android and iOS. So, can we get it? mean to tell me iPhones and being discriminatory against Androids on purpose. Whole time I thought that was just the mechanics. No, you feel me? I thought that the reason that you feel me, Androids text iPhones and it's green, that's just they couldn't help it. That was their mechanics. But no, because why is Apple being sued by, she gotta be from by Baltimore. the Department of This is random, but I feel like she's from Baltimore. <laughs> I'm gonna check after this, but I feel like she's from Baltimore justice for creating things to make it seem like the consumer has no choice but to use apple products for apple products basically monopolizing their products and making it very hard for androids to interact with iphone products and not be treated like it's a different brand examples of this include when you get pictures from Androids and they always look a little dusty, but when you get a, a picture from an iPhone, it's always clear. I thought that was just the technology and the mechanics. No, no. <laughs> Another example of this is like I mentioned earlier, when you get a text message from Android, it could be blue, but Apple was like, no, nah, we're going to make it green. So they'd be feeling icky and gross when they text the Androids. You see, it's all marketing. That's crazy. iPhone versus Android is literally a marketing scheme, a marketing tactic. Because in fact, I worked in phones and iPhones and Androids literally have the same exact qualities, everything. Sometimes Androids have more advanced technology, if you will, and iPhone will get it years later this that and the third they make each other's parts another example of this is when you transfer data from an iphone to iphone it's a seamless and flawless experience ask me how i know this i sold phones for years before i got into marketing but from iphone to iphone it's a seamless transition from android to iphone you can have all type of difficulties all type of things not working and everything not transferring over so it's all literally making sense like for years i knew androids and iphones were no better than one another but what i didn't know was apple was doing it on purpose they're literally doing it on purpose so for the whole which one is better iphone versus android they the same different brand same purpose same thing um she must want good at selling phones because she didn't even know how to say hey the reason why it was green because Apple chose to to SMS outside of iMessage, and Android got to the point way back in 2016, 2017, they adopted what is called RCS, which stands for, I believe, Rich Communications Systems. I could be wrong, but I've had three Google Pixels, and this allows you to do the same thing with iMessage. Chat replies, message bubbles, thumbs up, all these different things, clear videos, everything. So when I used to have a Samsung type of phone, I would have to send a link like of the video so you can get it clear versus trying to just send the video and then it looked distorted. And people are it kind of like it's one of those things where and it's come out the wrong way. When you know you like smarter than like the person you send this up to and they're like cracking jokes, thinking like, oh, your phone is trash. I'm like, no, you don't really understand what's happening. It's not my phone. It's your phone deciding to say, you know what? We are not going to upgrade RCS and we are going to do this because this is the only way we can remain competitive and keep people to use us for iMessage and FaceTime. Years ago, when I had an Android, when I was on like Android, Many people would pay five dollars a month just to use our message. I was like, I don't know why they ever did that, but I know why because they know most of those people would just go to the Android phones and just pay the five dollars a month. Because although I like my iPhone, one of the reasons back in the day, and I used to have let's see, I had a Motorola Droid, I had a HTC Thunderbolt, I had a um. Uh, what was it? A Joy DNA. Then I had a uh, what was it? Samsung S5. Then I had a Google Pixel, the OG. 
I had a Google Pixel 3, then I had the Google Pixel 6 or 7, whatever. I had a ton of like Android phones. And of course, even this, so what y'all don't know about me is years ago in 2009, 2010, I wanted to be a phone reviewer. Every day I would get on Phone Dog and uh, do Noah at Phone Dog. I was pretty much reviewing the Android phone by every week. So I used to know like about the processors. I used to know about uh, like, of course, but but back in that time it was like three G, like all these different things. And so I used to want to do like all the different stuff. So back then I'm knowing like, okay, hey, Samsung had just came out. Their galaxies were like they had different ones. It was like Samsung, like Captivate. I think it was like on AT and T. I don't know. People can go look this up, but Sprint, T Mobile. Verizon, at and we had all different types of Samsung Galaxy devices. And Samsung had its own version of Android called TouchWiz. HTC, HTC had its own version of Android called, uh, was it, uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was Sense. It wasn't Sense. It was something else. But uh, HTC, had, HTC had its own version of Android. Motorola had its own version. So everybody had, that was the beauty of Android. Android was open source, but it would let you put your own version of things on top of the software, which, of course, back then, about for about four to five months, Android would be running good. And after that, it wasn't optimized. But in the mid parts of going into like the late 2010s, that's when Android really started catching up operating system wise. And then I think globally, Android actually holds the market share versus iPhone because, truth be told, after Steve Jobs died, it didn't really been a lot of innovation from anything Apple, if we want to be totally honest. If we want to be honest, yeah. when Apple implements RCS, you're going to see an exodus of people going to get Android phones because they're like, I would do it. I'm not going to lie. I would do it. Only reason I got it is for FaceTime and them blue messages. That's it. That's Because the Android camera is killing iPhone. Yeah. Now the front face. The front one and the, the front one and the back one. Now the front face one, not as good as the front face one on the um, iPhone. Cause, um, that's what, uh, one of the things Tavion did. He, he did the, uh, the side by side, but I used to have it too. But like, it just was always I like I love like my Google. 